Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to move forward and cover the daily RBI series for day 8. So today I am going to discuss a new set of questions from government schemes which are important for the upcoming RBI, SEBI and the very important NABARD phase 2 examination. So you can also access all these tests that I am already taking on uh, YouTube on my website as, as, as well and I shall be telling you how exactly to approach or to take these tests on my website. So let us start with the session. Here you can see a shot of the website wherein all these things are available and on the home page itself you see an icon of quizzes at the top. As you click on quizzes you will get quizzes of different sections of different examinations. There is daily current affairs which is also held every day in the terms of morning tales. There is NABARD grade A and RBI grade B and SEBI grade A. SEBI grade A weekly tests are, are being conducted and they are being posted here. Let's go to RBI grade B and see what we have on offer in RBI grade B. When you come to RBI grade B, you will see all these tests and videos being uploaded for different days. So here you can see day 1 which was on controlling which is mentioned below. Day 2 and day 3 also for controlling. And day 4 we had a quiz on government schemes the video of which is available on YouTube in a separate playlist for daily, daily RBI series. Uh, day 5 quiz was also on government schemes. Day 6 was also on government schemes. On day 7th, we had a session on organization theory. I just wanted to kick start organization theory as well uh, for the upcoming exam. Today, we are going to cover day 8 and then we will be moving forward for different dates. Let us start the quiz and see what exactly the questions are and how you can take the quiz. Here, you can see that there are different questions. There are a total of 5 questions as you can see here and as you keep uh, putting in your answers, you will start getting uh, the feedback instantly. Let us go through the first question. The question says Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana which was launched on 23rd September 2018 at Rachi is an umbrella scheme of which of uh, umbrella scheme of two ongoing centrally sponsored health schemes. So we are talking about number one Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. There are two other names also of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana and uh, I want you to answer uh, uh, you know those two names for me in the comment section below as we move forward with the test. The question here says it is a culmination of two ongoing centrally sponsored schemes which are the following are the subsumed schemes among the following. Number one Rashtri Swastha Bhima Yojana, second Senior Citizen Health Insurance Scheme, third Universal Health Insurance Scheme and fourth Janashri Bhima Yojana. Please provide me your answers in the comment section below and let me have a look at the answer here. So let us see what the answer is. Let me post 1 and 2 see. As you can see here it says that the answer is correct and certain explanation is also provided here. Let me read it out to you and let us talk about a little about Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. As I had said there are two more names of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. These are number one Ayushman Bharat and number two National Health Protection Scheme NHPS. These are both centrally sponsored schemes which were launched in 2018 and now they have been combined under Pradhan Mantri Jan Arugya Yojana. This particular scheme comes under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare that is something very important that you need to remember and as I had said culmination of two ongoing umbrella scheme of two ongoing schemes Rashtra Swastha Bhima Yojana and Senior Citizen Health Insurance Scheme. Let us come to second question. The question is about Operation Green. The question says Operation Green aims to promote TOP that is tomato, onion and potato was launched in the budget 2018-19. It is launched on the lines of a previously successful revolution. Pick out the correct revolution among the below. A very interesting and a nice question that has been created here. So it talks about Operation Green but it says that it is on the lines of a previously successful revolution in terms of ideologies, in terms of method of operation and the answer to the question is A, Operation Flood. Operation Green was launched in budget 2018-19 that has been mentioned in the question itself but it is an important fact to promote TOP, tomato, onion and potato farmer producer organizations that is the area of similarity between Operation Green and Operation Flood or uh, White Revolution as it is popularly called. Uh, the purpose is to promote farmer producer organizations, logistics, processing facilities and professional management. Comes under which ministry? Ministry of Food Processing Industries 
and has been launched on the lines of Operation Bl Flood, which is also popularly called as White Revolution. Let's come to the third question now. Third question is about Gobardhan. Gobardhan Yojana is an initiative of MDWS. Please provide me the full form of MDWS as well. Let us see how many of you can answer it correctly. It was launched in the year 2018 and we have to identify which statements are correct regarding this scheme. The first statement is Gobardhan stands for Generating Organic Bio Agro Resources Dhan Yojana. Let us see how many of you can answer it correctly. The scheme is being implemented as part of Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin, SBM Gramin. The scheme proposes to cover 750 projects across the country in 2018-19. The program will be implemented using SLWM solid, liquid, solid and Liquid Waste Management funding pattern of Swachh Bharat, uh, uh, Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin guidelines. Let us have the answers uh, before I answer it for you. So, number one, generating. Our organic bio agro is certainly incorrect because it is galvanizing not generating so first is out implemented as part of Swachh Bharat that is correct the scheme proposes to cover 750 projects no it proposes to cover 700 projects in 2018-19 and yes it will be implemented using solid and liquid based management so the answer is B 2 and 4 which is the correct answer as I said GOBA stands for galvanizing and not uh, generating galvanizing organic bio agro resources galvanizing here means energizing uh, mdws stands for ministry of drinking and water ministry of drinking water and sanitation and as has been mentioned in the question also scheme is being implemented as part of swachh bharat mission gramin launched in the year 2018 the purpose is to manage and convert cattle dung and solid waste into compost biogas that is something that can be used as a resource as a fertilizer okay 700 projects through 700 biogas units in 1819 are being covered uh, so that's it for this question let's come to the next question to keep our data safe and protected maiti please provide me the full form of maiti uh, although i expect that all of you should be aware about it a lot of us fail to remember or recall the full forms of these kinds of ministries has launched the scheme cyber surakshit bharat yojana on lines with the vision digital india cyber surakshit bharat will be operated on three principles except which of the following is not a principle a very interesting and a nice question awareness education enablement and elucidation please provide me with your answers in the comment section below you can also go after the video you can go and take the quiz live as well that will help you uh, remember recall and revise a lot of these ministries the answer to this question is d elucidation Cyber Surakshit Bharat Yojana was launched in Chan 2018, the month and the year, very important, under the Ministry of Maiti, that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, and in line with uh, the mission of Digital India. Three principles, awareness, education and enablement. Let's come to the last question for today. Seva Bhoj Yojana is a scheme introduced by Ministry of Culture. So that is something uh, that very important. Seva Bhoj Yojana, which ministry? Ministry of Culture, which aims to provide financial assistance to religious and charitable institutions providing free meal, prasad, langar, etc. to the community. What is the way of providing this financial help to institutions through this scheme? By reimbursement of GST, by exemption of income tax, by paying the cost of food materials at the end of month, by reimbursement of CGST on cooked food items or by reimbursement of IGST on cooked food items. The answer to this question is A, by reimbursement of GST on raw food items. So please remember this, raw food items plus reimbursement of GST only. These are the ways that the financial help is going to be provided. Certain things about Seva Bhoj Yojana. It's basically a GST waiver scheme wherein GST will be refunded and it was launched in June 2018. Launched in June 2018. Centers state of GST and state share of GST as well as interstate GST, both of them are going to be refunded to these organizations or religious institutions. There is one very important uh, uh, provision, uh, sorry, condition here that this institution should have been serving 5,000 people per month not per day not per year 5000 people per month in the last three years in the last three years 
to be eligible for this refunding to be eligible for this refunding of gst okay this is something that is very important please remember this so this was all for today's uh, quiz i hope you liked it you can take all these quizzes one by one on the website they're there for you uh, take these quizzes regularly submit your answers check your answers see where are you going wrong and uh, provide comments in the comment section which, which has been uh, provided below so that you can uh, you know regularly stay in touch with uh, serious students like yourself this is going to help you a lot in the upcoming examination uh, be serious for the upcoming rbi and sebi examinations especially okay till then all the very best take care